there, I'm the Epta, and welcome to the ninth episode of the Scarlet and Violet Blind Nuzlocke. Uh, as you noticed last time, we lost, so we're starting over. Um, we're gonna choose Frigatito again, because I feel like we totally could have handled that if we just knew a little bit more about the Terra Pokemon. Um, and I don't want to lose out on the challenge of going against the Bug Gym with the Grass Starter, though I probably won't um, use him from the get-go, but we'll just... We'll just see. See how it goes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get our settings set up right, and go ahead and get our Pokemon, and get the move on. So we're gonna try and go through this opening sequence pretty quickly, because we saw oh, we saw a lot of it last time. Um, so we should be all good there. Fast tech speed, obviously off, we are ready to begin. So let's head on downstairs and say good morning to uh, our little squirrel, vet, squirrel friend and our mother. In that order, but only because the game introduces them in that order. I would totally say hi to mom before the Pokemon, but I love I love both Pokemon and, and my parents, so we're good. Hiya, Munchin Munchin! That's why you ran to the kitchen, because you're hungry! Ooh, I love, I didn't notice this last time, but the tiles on the floor actually have kind of a glossy glazed look to them, which is a really cool detail. They are actually quite large for uh, kitchen tiles. That's cool. First day of school, I am super excited as well, Mother. Um, okay, I, I can wait a little bit longer, it's fine. Gotta get ready for the very important, it's so important, it's in a different colored text. It might be the very thing we're waiting for. All right, let's go open the door. Do, 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 do. I can't run inside my house. Do forgive the intrusion. I was coming, sir. You could have just not let yourself in, but that's fine. You are Miss Nadra. On behalf of the College Academy, I must apologize for the late documents and for my delay in introducing myself. It's okay, you just barged in. I wasn't thinking manners were your strong suit. I guess I shouldn't insult the director of my academy, but that's fine. Um... So here are the enrollment documents that should have been delivered in a giant shopping bag instead of a logical folder. That's fine. Goodness, you really needn't have. So you came all this way. Can you please offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Um, how do you have a thing or two to discuss with the director when you didn't know he was coming? Like, were you just planning on calling the school and just were like, oh, well, since he's here, I might as well. Um, sure, Mom. I I'll go get my stuff. Up we go. Oh, look at how wood texture. I love the textures. Oh, look, the rug. All right, one sparkly backpack. Yes. Gotta grab a hat, gotta grab the backpacks. So we can go, go, go. On an adventure. That, that braid um, hair tie looks kind of almost dangerous when she swings her head around. Like, is she at risk of stabbing herself with it? Like... I, I would personally never put something that spiky on the end of my hair unless I was, like, doing it for, like, cosplay. In which case, it'd be, like, a soft material, not, like, a hard barrette. Alright. Ready for your big first day? It's the uniform of our story. Academy suits you quite well indeed. Does it come in a skirt, sir? Please? Oh, gracious. How very careless of me. I'd entirely forgotten something else. A most important thing. Not the most important thing. No, no, no. The Pokemon is definitely more important than some paperwork. I, I don't understand you, Director, if you don't think that the Pokemon is far more important. Off we go. Got this. We're so excited. I'm ready. I'm ready for my Pokemon. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, it's such a pretty world. I cannot get over it. All right, gotta straighten my hat. Ready for adventure. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of the Pokeballs. Which I'm just going to summon out from the ether. Look at them! They're so cute. Uh, I ask to choose you amongst these ones. Brigatito, the grass cat. Purr. Oh, it's such a cute little kitty. And look at his little button nose. Fuecoco, the fire croc, who looks nothing like any crocodile I've seen. I guess he looks kind of like a fire totodile. I guess Totodile is also a croc. Maybe he'll get more like a Feraligator when he evolves. And Quaxly, the fly, 
duckling Pokemon. He's got his hair all styled and everything. It's very appropriate that he'd, you know, be so fly when he's a bird. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at that. They're so loyal to me, except for when they decide you're more interesting. Uh, see, stay and see which one you choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I was really surprised initially, because I was like, wouldn't you need the other Pokemon at your next home visit? But since we now know that Nimona is a trainer that wasn't expecting to get a Pokemon originally, it makes sense. Not an easy task to choose. It was a lot harder the first time, but I, I want to give Tito another shot. I feel like I owe it to him. Got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Thanks, Mom! I got a new phone! I'm very excited about my new phone. Uh, did I have an old phone? I mean, I guess I'm not that old, so maybe I didn't have a phone. Is this my first phone? Thank you, Mother. Alright. Let's go, guys! Let's see if I can walk towards the camera so I can see them all following me. Hi, guys! Come on! Come on! Stay on the path. We got this. Look at them all! Running along. They're so cute. Oh, and look at the little fleshling. Come on, Sprig! Look at little Tito. Alright. Oh, and we've got running now. Oh, let's see what she has to say. Welcome to Kabu Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Yes, it is indeed home. Alright, now that we can run, I don't think I can run towards the camera without tripping up, so... We're just gonna run over here and get to pick our starter Pokemon. Very excited. All right, come on, guys. The faster you get over here, the faster I can choose. This is a very pretty house, very large house. Like the houses in this game are quite large. Look at them, the little Quaxley in the pond, the fountain splashing, doing his hair. So appropriate for him. We got little Sprigatito smelling the roses. Well, I guess they're not really roses, but good enough. And then, oh, his hair glows. Is it like heated up like a filament would be for like um one of those like heating elements? He's adorable. I wouldn't put my hand that close to that because that looks like it'd be hot. Are you these three strainer? No. I'm gonna get to pick one. I'm very excited though about picking one. I know who I'm gonna pick. I'm ready. Let me go. That does yet to make her choice, you see. Alright. I'm ready. Let me pick, let me pick. I do wonder what you will choose. Well, if you'd stop talking, I would tell you. Alright. They are adorable. Hi there, guys. Look at you. You're so cute. Buenas. We haven't met yet, have we? Well, sort of, Nimona, but I'll see you... I'll, I mean, we'll see each other quite a bit, I'm sure. Uh, hang on, is this who I think it is? Yes, indeed. I will be attending starting today. Yes, I would be the kid that moved in up the road. Not that it matters, because we're going to spend time at the academy together. So whether or not we are neighbors down here really doesn't make that big of a difference. What do you say, new neighbor? You want to be friends? Yes. All right, we're going to get along just fine. Though it is interesting that we have a champion ranked trainer that is going to be in the class of a total newbie canonically. Um, I could very well be a champion ranked trainer. We're going to be neighbors and classmates. Yes, indeed. Alright, on that note, time to pick my starter Pokemon. Yes. This one. Hi, Sprigatito. <laughs> Oh, look at that cute little guy. Yes. Yes, this is my Sprigatito. Hi there. Yeah. Alright, so this is going to be Tito again. Alright, there we go. Sprigatito. You ready, buddy? Look at him, all standing on thin air. I mean, even if he was sitting actually on my arm, that's really a brave spot to perch, because most people can't hold their arm out with that much uh, strength to be supporting, you know, another living being. It's 
Miss Brigatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Miss Nap. I mean, he's sitting there purring, so I guess so. This is your first Pokemon. Take it with love and care and keep it safe in his Pokeball. Except for when I want it to walk with me. Alright. I can't believe you chose Brigatito. It's like a perfect combo. Yes, indeed. Uh, can I choose one of these, too? Uh, didn't you get one already? A little bit, you know. Oh, not back then? No, I had other Pokemon I was focused on already. Um, so, she never did get a Pokemon, so this isn't, you know, oh, I want another one. Uh, it's, hey, I never got this, could I get it now so that I get That's actually really cute! I like that they canonically have a reason why he was so cool with her getting another Pokemon, even though she's, you know, already got so many. She, you know, never got the new student benefit, and she has a very good reason for wanting to do so. I like this. This actually is very nice. Now that we have Pokemon, we have to battle. Okay, I'm, I'm down, Nimona. I'll be right there. I, I will very much enjoy battling with her. It'll be great. Alright, let's head on down the stairs. Battle Nimona! You better believe it. Ooh, I like the battlefield down here being blue and awesome. Alright. I'm ready. I am ready to battle you. Yes, let's bring it on. For this battle, I think I'll use the Pokemon you just got, please. The entire reason you wanted it is that you'd be, you know, on equal footing with me. Yeah, take it take a chance, meet your new buddy. I mean, you chose the one that's going to be weak to me, knowing what you know about Pokemon, so that, that's your own fault. I mean, maybe because you're a champion ranked trainer, you thought that you'd be able to handle it, but... I, uh... I think you made a mistake. But that's fine. I will take advantage of the fact that you've made a mistake, and I'm going to leafage your poor little Quaxly into oblivion. There we go. Go for it, Tito! Half damage! Nicely done! You must have been studying up, smart move. Grass is strong against water. I wonder if we use a, like, e a, a neutral move if she says something about, you know you can do. Alright, there we go. Goodbye, Quaxley. Quaxley is still a hilarious move. Alright. Tito leveled up. Good job, buddy. Wow, not bad, neighbor. All right. Look at you, winning your first ever battle. You got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. I mean, you're the one who chose the Pokemon that's weak to me. So you kind of set me up for success there. Look at him! Look at his little glowy hair! Sorry, I got caught up in the excitement. Aw, oh, don't worry about it. Let's battle again soon! All right. These two seem to be becoming fast friends that you've only just met. I mean, I spent a few hours with this woman before, but that's cool. Yeah! I'm so ready to, to learn and stuff. Yes, please, I would love the Pokedex app. Gimme, gimme. I love how you want to give me the thing and then she makes the giving motion, so. Also, when do you hand someone an app? Normally you just download it. But that's okay. We got this. I love how they reference, you know, the handwritten notes to compile their Pokedexes, given that we just had Arceus as the last game that came out. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, I think it's a nod to Arceus and its handwritten Pokedex. Alright. The more Pokemon we encounter, the most grow and change. I am definitely ready to work towards my Pokedex as much as I can in the confines of a Nuzlocke. I'm really hoping I'll get to do some of the new Pokemon this go-round. I'm hoping we get the Lechonk again. I'm assuming that's a static encounter, um, and that the first Pokemon is always a Lechonk, which would be great. Um, but we'll see if what we end up with in the cave, if it ends up being a young goose, which is the one that we accidentally knocked out last time, or if it will get another Diglett, or if there's other po I don't think there's other Pokemon in that cave. Um, so I'm hoping we'll probably get through, I think my goal is to get through the cave, um, today. So let's go ahead and zip along and try to get caught back up to where we were as quick as can be. But we're also getting, you know, enough experience to be successful this time around. 
Imagine that. Oh, hello, mother. Look at you coming to see me off. Oh, Matt. I heard that Nimona here will be taking you to school. Yes, she will, Mom. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've managed to make a friend. Yes, I'm very good at making friends, really. And I've read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have at your school and the handy facilities. Adding your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school is shaping up to be fantastic. She is such a sweet and caring mother. Now you'll be staying at the school dorm, so make sure to eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money. Thank you, Mother. It's very nice. And a sandwich. I think I'm more excited about the sandwich, potentially, than the spending money. But that's maybe because I know that the sandwich is a plot point now. Ooh, but the potions are very helpful, Mom. Thank you very much. He's among that precious little partner of yours. Does she know which partner I chose, even? She hasn't had a chance to see, unless Nimona told her before I caught up with them. Hmm. Alright. Bye, Mom! Off you go! Look at her big floppy ponytail. My mom is so nice. Yes, indeed. Oh, let's go catch Pokemon. I'm ready. Begin my adventure again. This way. I'm coming. I'm coming. As soon as you stop the cutscenes so that I can actually move. There we go. I love that we got the camera angle and everything right off the bat. This game is so pretty. All right. Poco Path. It's chunk time. Hi there. Alright, this is Poco Path. Look at them all. Things that lead to adventure. Alright. I'm ready. Get too close and you have a battle, but you guys pretty cheetah for that. And if you want to catch a Pokemon, you're gonna need Pokeballs. I like how they actually hand us the object for this time, almost. Because um, it just kind of vanishes, but that's fine. Handing animations is hard. There comes the chonk! Oink, oink! Get over here, buddy. Alright. Come here! Alright. We've got a lechonk. Um, let's go ahead and we'll scratch it once. Good, good. And then we'll chuck a Pokeball. I probably could have just chucked the Pokeball to begin with and saved it for damage, but that's okay. I'm sure Chomp will forgive me. There we go! New buddy! Alright. Tito's gaining experience, also great. Yes. This is Chomp. Um, there we go. Chonk. Look at little Chonk. Excellent. I wonder, it says an 11 on the thing. When did I see another Pokemon? Is it, like, I don't know, when did we see number 11? I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Maybe you should be giving me tips. I mean... I'm not going to catch very many of them, Nimona, but sure. I should be pretty successful, hopefully, at the ones I do attempt. Alright, weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball, remember that, and you'll be fine. Now let's go battle some wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Ah, uh, I'm not going to be catching very many of them before we speak again, but I will definitely battle a couple. Um, we're going to try and battle a few of them kind of throughout this time. Um, oh good, she healed up. Ooh, auto-heal. Um, I want to read this more carefully this time automatically he and use them to heal your Pokemon to use auto heal okay so it, it doesn't do it automatically good that's one thing I wanted to because I remembered oh nope nope um I remembered meant it mentioning auto heal and I was like I don't want it you know healing when I'm not expecting it to all right let's find a nice easy target for Chomp's first battle sure we should be able to battle a spider Alright, look at you. Alright, Chonk, tackle! Mm. I think we're gonna go ahead and tail whip. And then... Tackle again. Actually, we might tail whip twice. If I tail whip twice, 
So if I tail it one more time, then it should only take two attacks to knock it out. And that'll save some tackles. There we go. Now, let's get rid of this thing. You got this, Chonk. You can spring shot all you want. String shot away. Come on, Chonk. Good damage, good damage. One more. Yes, perfect. String shot is fantastic. Alright, tackle. There we go. We've successfully beaten our first wild Pokemon with Chonk. And our Pokedex index has been updated. Very exciting. Let's go over here and grab this item. Potion. Fantastic. We are going to try and grab as many of the items as possible. Um, because I don't think we come back here for quite a while in the story, and having a lot of potions and stuff is helpful. Super potion. Excellent. Grab this item. Grab... Ooh, can I even get up there? Yes, I can! Can I pick it up now that I'm up here? There we go. Oh, revive. That's less than helpful. Got that. Oh, look at them hanging from the tree! He's, like, taking a nap up there. That's hilarious. I'm gonna battle the scatterbug. But I like the, the guy hanging from the tree. We'll have to pay attention when we go on to the next route to see if there are... Ooh, he's level 4. We might want to switch to Tito for this, just to not have it take two months. That scatterbug is a higher... Oh, if I can, though, we're going to tail whip twice again. Nope, 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 nope. Tito for the win. Tito, come on out. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to risk Chonk to a scatterbug. That would be embarrassing. Um... But this will give Tito a little bit of experience as well. I mean, he would have gotten some anyways because experience share again, but it's fine. Um, this way, we don't lose anybody. No losing Pokemon on Route 1. That'd, be, that'd just be embarrassing. One more attack. Okay. Tito takes that a lot better than Tonk did. I'm wondering if we should maybe check... Well, Tito is also a higher higher level. Oh, two to learn Bite. Good, good, good. Uh, what we're gonna do really quickly is we're gonna check summary and see what natures we've got on these guys. Uh, mine is defense plus speed. Something tells me that's not a very good nature on something called Lechonk. Um, gluttony, okay. And we've got Overgrow, minus defense, plus speed. What is with all these minus defense natures on a Nuzlocke? It's fine. Okay. We'll be fine. Um, I guess let's go ahead and battle this thing. Let's get just a couple more battles in. Oh, I did not mean to lead with Chonk. It's fine. We'll switch to Tito. And it'll be fine. Go, Tito! I should just lead Tito right now since Chonk is at so low health, but it's fine. Because we are almost to the end of this area. And then we'll get to do the cave encounter. And then I believe we get healed up before we do the battle with Arvin. So that seems to be the way with Pokemon games, mostly. Oh, there's going to be a major battle. Let me heal you first. Except for when you are depending on it, and then it doesn't happen. But I think in this early in the game, it's usually very kind. And I save my healing items for when I need them. Alright. Finish it off, Tito. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and swap these two for now. Uh, and grab a few more items, and then we'll get to trigger the lovely cave stuff. 
I like lovely cave stuff. Alright, catch a berry. Nice, nice. <gasps> Look at the cute little guy! Alright. Grab this item over here. I like how they've got this, like, glowing thing shooting out of the top of the Pokeballs. It makes it very easy to find them. Ooh, I see a sparkle. Ooh, there's more stuff over here. Grabbing all the stuff. Um, let's see here. Maybe we'll do, like, one or two more battles. I mean, I guess we could always also battle in the cave with Tito. Uh, because... In the cave, there's like diglets and stuff, which would be weak to him, and might make it a little bit easier for the leveling, as opposed to all the bugs out here, which I don't think they've got a move to do so, but would technically be strong against him. All right. Hey, that's a, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon? Okay. Yep. So far, I've caught. Yeah, I caught the one. Don't 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 worry about it. Yo. What was that? Uh, that would be the awesome Coridon. Could be something strong, Pokemon or something. Uh, so that's fine with cry, just don't fall off the cliff. Yeah. Guess what we guess what we have to do to be able to make progress in the game? Fall off the cliff. It's fine, Pokemon games, just you know, is what it is. Alrighty. Walk, 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 walk. To the edge of the cliff. Alright. There's a tree. There's Coridon. And some mean little hound dower. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh, I'm so tired. But I'm going to scream at you. Up oh, and break the cliff. Can't get, pick up my head, can scream loud enough to cause an avalanche. Thank you, Rotom Phone. Ah, <sighs> yip yip. I would I would get out of there too if I were you. Hey there. Hey buddy. Are you okay? Hi. Oh, don't growl. Oh, oh. No need to be you'll be okay. I help you. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Give it something to perk it up. No, not a potion. Mom's special sandwich. My mom makes the best food. It'll perk you right up. Here, see? Try it. I'm totally supposed to give Pokemon human food. It's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's food. Food. I look so concerned. But I'm offering it to my lovely little sandwich. And he's just going to... He's just going to... Yum! Yum, 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 yum. Nom nom nom. There you go. And now it's a super powered sandwich. A jizz. Aw, oh, look at him. He's all better. He looks so happy. But he sees a cave. There's a cave. Alright. Gotta walk towards the cave. Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. I totally thought he was just gonna leave me uh, in this one. I was like, well, hopefully Nimona has a way for me to get back up. Yes! And... Sandwich mode activated! Uh, Alright. Look at him. Glowing. He's so ready for anything. I am powerful! I love how he's also walking on uh, two legs right now. Um, and he like doesn't do that normally. But I guess uh, even when we've been riding, like even when we rode him around after the school stuff, he wasn't super powered, he was just better powered. Alright, let's go. Let's go chase after Coridon. 
and get our next encounter and all that good stuff. Good stuff. Inlet Grotto. Get our Inlet Grotto encounter. See what our Pokemon's gonna be. All right. Oi, Nefta! Yeah, that'd be me. Hi. Hi, yep. What are you doing up there, Nomona? Nomona? I'm okay. I've got this awesome Pokemon that I'm walking with. I was really worried. If he'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking. Oh, that's fine. We just gotta focus on getting up here. Find a way to climb. Um, or I could just hang out with my buddy. What's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. It's... Yes. Very much so. It's freaking out some Houndour, which I don't know how they got behind that rock, but that's okay. Alright. So our inlet grotto encounter is gonna be this young goose. Hi there! Rah! To you too. Alright. It's a little boy young goose. Um, I'm just gonna chuck a Pokeball at it. There we go. Alright, and I think we're gonna name this young goose Goose. Because it goes with my last half of the name thing. Tronk learned his learning voice, excellent. Alright. Uh, so we're going to name him Goose, but I'm going to spell it like this. Oops. Capital G. There we go. Goose. Goose has been added to our party. There we go. Alright, I'm going to grab this item. There's another young Goose over there. Grab the potion. Excellent. There's a little diglet. Eh, I think we're just gonna keep walking. I did very much like having Letty on the team last time, but it's okay. Maybe that'll mean we can get something um, interesting in the area that we got the young goose from last time, since I imagine that'll be the first Pokemon we see there again. Um, so we might get to encounter something uh, Paldean. All right, let me just dish. Give me one second. I just gotta grab this item. There's some hound hour. We've noticed. We have noticed that there's some hound hour. Thanks for waiting for me, Coridon. All right, we are ready. Got moose on the team, and we got Coridon clearing our path. This is going well soon as... Oh my gosh, it's straight up pulverized the rock. How powerful is it? I wonder what that move was. Man, I want to see it up close. Um, I mean, look out, something's coming. I don't necessarily want to be up close with a Pokemon move in general. Behind you! It's behind you! Hello, Houndoom. I mean, that would be pretty terrifying. Look behind you! Boom, 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 boom. Uh oh, it's videos. Alright. I really don't like battles where you can't do anything. Also, the fact that he doesn't move um, makes me feel like crunch isn't necessarily the most accurate uh, description. Especially since he makes that, you know, roar motion. Why why don't they just make it roar? How can we can learn, learn roar? It would make more logical sense, but hey, I didn't get to choose what text it says. Alright. Yeah, you roar right back at him. And here comes the horde of Houndour. That's a lot of Houndour, honestly. Leave my buddy alone. He's like about to attack, and then he's like, wait, there's more. And that would leave Naepta defenseless. I must help her, she looks freaked out. Yoink! Up here! Quick! Yep, yeah, I'm coming. 
All right, could you put me down now? Thank you for saving my bacon, but uh, this is a very uncomfortable way to be carried. Put me down. My little dangly feet want to touch the ground. All right. Are we good now? Are you okay? Everything's happy? For a second, I thought you were both goners. I want to go into the sunlight, the sunlight, and take a nap. Oh, I forgot that that is not that is not a taking a nap animation. That is a I'm collapsing now animation. What's wrong? You have a sandwich in your pocket? He he likes sandwiches. They get use up all his power. What is a Pokemon anyways? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And that looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? It's hard to say. I hope so. It's my buddy. You can't tell either, huh, Nafta? Well, that's a sad. I'm seriously glad you made it back up here in one piece. You know what? That battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that Houndoom. You know, I didn't do anything. He just, he just, he just took care of me. This guy is amazing. Hmm? Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine, all is good. Look at me. He kind of reminds me uh, behaviorally of Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. All right, do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry before? I would I would guess so. Giants. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers. We can get a good plan on exchanging numbers. Um, but, I mean, I don't know what this thing is still, so... Oh, thanks for Swift. Also awesome. Alright. TMs can only be used once. Let me take a breather for a minute. Just head to the lighthouse. Yes. That's a great plan. And we will head to that lighthouse next time. So, we got pretty far. Um, so we're, we're, we're catching back up to where we were. We'll, we'll scurry along here. Um, but yeah, we did a pretty good job of getting through... Uh, next time we'll get to battle Arvin and all that fun stuff and hopefully get through most of Los Platos. So thanks you guys so much for joining me. I'm Nafta and I'll catch you guys next time. Later!